What's up guys, Avery here bringing you a Black Ops 3 DLC 2 Zatsubu no Shima main easter egg video and this one's going to be short and detailed so let's get into it. Before you even get into the game, you could do this with solo or co-op, so at least one person needs to have anywhere but here gobblegum. Now this is a classic gobblegum and it's essential to one of these steps in the easter egg so if you do not have it, make sure you put it on. You need three things in order to continue this easter egg, which will be the Skull of Nansapui, then the KT4, along with the shield. Now all these links for the tutorials for those will be in the description if you need to see them. Now to assure a step in the later easter egg, what you want to do is make sure you complete all of the trials at the ritual area. Now as you can see, there is a totem along with these symbols and you have three trials you must do. If you're solo, you only have to complete three, but if you have more than one player, then all those players must complete their own trials and once they have, then this step will be created for later on. I advise you to get this done early along with your teammates so it's out of the way and it's easier for later rounds. To actually start the easter egg, let's go to the bunker, then we're going to make our way down to the living quarters, and that is also where the purple water is located. Once you get down there, make sure you pull out your skull of Nansapui, hit L2 or left trigger to use the mesmerize effect on the wall where you see a half scrap paper. Now it's going to make the other half appear, and then if you're solo, follow me and go all the way up to the entrance of the bunker again. Unless you have co-op, then another player can stand next to the elevator. There is a metal panel which will open the maintenance room. And what you want to do is do the same exact thing. Hold L2 or left trigger and then the door will disappear. Now this will bring you to step 2. In this step, you're going to look for 3 cogs. Now I will put it in an efficient way or order for you to do this because it does not matter what order you gather the cogs in, but this way seems to work the best. We're going to start off with the plain cog and step one for it is going to be plant a seed anywhere, then water it with the blue water which is located by the lab A, and also you're going to want to shoot the soil with a KT4 shot, it does not have to be upgraded, and you'll see there's green particles rising from the soil, and then you're going to want to do this every round until you can harvest it. Now once you notice that you could harvest it, you'll see that there are green spots on the purple plant and most likely you're going to get a missile shell out of it and you're going to pick it up and then make your way over to the bunker entrance again. Then once you get there, you're going to go to the anti-aircraft platform. You're going to notice the AA gun and you're going to place the shell in the AA gun and you're going to hear the little noise where it's cocking and loading. Now, once you start the easter egg from the first step, you've triggered the plane to fly over the map every three minutes. Now, it doesn't take that long to wait for it. If you miss, you're going to have to redo all these steps again, but wait for the plane to kind of slow down. You can see the speed slow down and then fire and the plane will be knocked out of the sky. And then you must find the cog that it spread around the map. It will be a smoking cog, so it gives a little bit easier image to find it. And one of the things about this is it spawns in many locations. And I have two of them recorded here where it goes at Lab B, the 115 meteor, as you can see there. And also in front of the bunker by the tree. So that is two locations I have recorded. And I believe it goes to Lab A as well. Just look for the smoke effect. Now you can move on to the next cog area. The secret room cog is very easy. All we need to do is get the gobblegum anywhere but here like I told you to do in the beginning of the video. And then all you have to do is make sure you already started the easter egg by using the skull of Nansapui and opening up the elevator shaft where you can make the cogs fit. And once you do so, then you're able to teleport right into the room above lab A. And once you get in there, all you want to do is pick up the cog by the dragon egg and then you could leave through the side. Now you could revisit this area as much as you want as long as you don't pick up the cog, but I advise you to pick it up whenever you can. Then that is it for this step. You do not need to go to the spider room for this at all. So we're moving on to the last cog. Moving on to the zipline shock cog, basically all you have to do if you listened before was complete the trials and if all of your players have, then you'll notice periodic lightning striking at the ritual area. 
what you want to do is wait for the lightning to strike a totem pole then the base will be electrocuted with lightning and then you're going to pull out your shield and you're going to walk through it and then your shield will be electrocuted now you want to make your way either to the lab a zipline or the bunker area where the dock is either zipline will work now if you're solo this is going to be different so listen for this part you're going to shock the control panel with the electric shield and what's going to make you drop is if you knife when you knife your guy will drop in the area where you want to go but if you drop too early you will fall to your death now for co-op what you want to do is have one player with the electric shield and one player hit the zip line it's easier if you go from the dock because it's a quicker drop off now what you want to do is hit the zip line and when you say now your friend will melee the control panel with the electric shield and that will immediately drop you again it's better if you drop early or late depending on what side you go so you don't fall to your death and lose everything but once you pick up the cog you can run up the ramp and go back onto the dock area and then continue on now you've gathered all three cogs so make your way back to the bunker and go over to the maintenance room and place all three of the cogs down if you already have haven't placed them and then you'll notice the elevator doors open so at this point you should basically set yourself up for the boss round and make sure you have your gobble gums max ammo along with a gas mask which is very essential in this point and then if you don't have the KT4 upgraded go do that and make sure if you can have multiple people get that and once you hit the bottom floor of the elevator you're going to notice that there are vines with these spores on it shoot your KT4 ammo at the spores and the vines will retract and break then once you get to the end of the hallway a door will open and you'll notice this huge guy behind the jail cell now some spiders and zombies will be spawning around already but once you shoot this big guy with the kt4 it's going to trigger him to spawn a bunch of thrashers and he will start flailing his arms now the only way to kill this person is or the boss is by shooting the spores on its arms and there are four arms in total but they don't always there aren't always shown so what you want to do is be keep an eye out for it keep running around destroying the thrashers and the zombies to minimize your attacks and then once you notice that there is a spore showing which may be big which may be small shoot it and once you defeat one arm it will break off and you'll get a max ammo so that's obviously progress once you get all the arms off you'll freeze your players and then you'll go into the cutscene at the end you'll get your achievement along with a awesome camping spot and also perkaholic so i hope you guys did enjoy this easter egg guide i made this short and sweet very detailed and all the things that you need to know i'm avery and i'm out